No matter how many successful cases I show you about our channels, beginners still have a question. How to push my videos to the top? What are the tags to be the first in a search? The worst thing is that nowadays someone is still taking money to push your video to the top of YouTube search and someone is paying the money. I think this is the worst thing and it needs to be fixed right now. So you're going to find out who really needs YouTube search, why it was invented in the first place, what does it video's position in search actually depend on, and is it even necessary to put videos in the top of YouTube in 2022? My name is Arthur Weiner, this is the Movavi vlog, and let's get into it. First, a disclaimer. Search on YouTube, according to its own data, accounts for no more than 10% of all traffic. Many people who are still daydreaming about the days of 2015-2017, when the algorithms for selecting videos for viewers were not great and the viewers had to search for something on YouTube, still say that if you optimize your videos properly, you will get into the top search and get a lot of views. In fact, that's absolutely not the case. If your goal is to get to the top of YouTube search for some query, you're only initially working for 10% of all traffic. And that's a statistic, it's not something I made up. The only content that really gets searched for is strictly news content, yet yeah, sometimes educational. But the next thing you see is that educational content is out of search as well. YouTube recommends videos to people that they watch, obviously. And if some person decided to learn how to play guitar, they will be shown videos about how to play the guitar. Bottom line, what we have is that people use search to find some content that they want to watch at the moment. If you want to watch a Spongebob video, you go and search for Spongebob videos. If you want to watch Mobavi Vlog, you write Mobavi Vlog and you find Mobavi Vlog videos. The only content that really gets searched for and where it makes sense to break through is content where something happens here and now. For example, the iPhone 14 recently came out and the search positions on YouTube for the iPhone 14 review are the most important for tech YouTubers around the world. And right now, this is one of the highest hype queries in the world. And here's our video, which I did together with Vlad. And as you can see, we came up higher in search for this query than Marcus Brownlee, who has 16 million subscribers. And such eye-catching, vivid, and memorable content can be created without spending a lot of time in learning. And why is that? Because there is Movavi Unlimited, which includes absolutely all Movavi apps, and is definitely the must for any aspiring YouTuber. I personally use this program too. I load footage into Movavi Video Converter and convert it into a format I can edit easily. Then I open Movavi Video Editor, put all my photos onto the timeline, trim it down nicely, remove all the unwanted takes, render it out, and get a great video in about 20 to 30 minutes. Movavi Video Editor works in general on a computer with medium specs. It's much cheaper than all the professional alternatives, but still includes almost all the basic features of the professional apps. What's more, with Movavi Unlimited, you don't have to buy any additional programs, everything is already included. Besides, in the editor itself, we can load a bunch of cool effects created by professional artists. You can literally make this kind of incredible design for your videos in just a few clicks. Just transfer it from one program to another within the same Movavi Unlimited ecosystem. And the coolest part is that it's available now at an 85% discount on a special secret sale. So if you're interested in this offer, then follow the link in the description and get it. And create your awesome videos much faster and much easier. And now let's go over why this is really the case. Why does he have 16 million subscribers and a million views in four hours, and we have 20,000 subscribers and only 90,000 views in 20 hours? But we are the first and we are ahead of not only him, but also Mr. Who's the boss, for example. So what affects the result? Many say that SEO optimization affects it. That is, the description, text, title. Indeed, in some parts it actually affects. Technically, you have to have some words that a person enters into a search query. Do you need those words in the description and tags and everything else? No, you have to say those words in the video. I'm not urging you to stop writing descriptions right now. You can do that, but there aren't any strict rules about it. You just have to write in the description briefly what your video is about. There is no magic in the description. You just need to write 
Hi everybody, I made a video about iPhone 14, that's all. If you think that in the text you need to write something and specify in any order to put them and in the right amount of them to insert, it's also not true. If we open the tag box today, we can see that YouTube is writing today next to the tag box. In other cases, you don't have to do that. YouTube is directly telling you, guys, if your name is spelling wrong, write all possible variations of your name. YouTube doesn't even tell you to put in any keywords, rank by search volume or anything else, just if there are any words that YouTube doesn't know that your content can be searched for. Put those words in here. That's it, you don't need tags anymore and the description is the same. Search rankings are only affected by how often your video gets clicked on in search, just like recommendations. Why does Marcus Brownlee have millions of subscribers? Why does he have a million views in four hours? But he's second in search. Because our iPhone 14 video is being opened more often in search and watched. All that matters to get ranked in search is CTR and retention in search and nothing else. Here are the stats for this video. The CTR in search is 16% and retention is only 2 minutes, but a CTR of 16% is a lot. We just included the key phrase don't buy in the cover and that's a trigger for viewers. If you are good at your niche interests, you just need to make a clickable video and if that video hits some keyword query right here and now, you will show up on that query and you don't need to do SEO optimization at all. Never in your life pay money to anyone who tries to convince you that it makes a difference. Just uh, treat people who say in 2022 that tags affect your views as some kind of conspiracy theorists. Imagine you go to a psychologist and tell him that you have so many problems at work, with money, with your family, and then he says to you, so how many letters in your last name? You say 10. And he's like, well, that makes sense. Let's just try to make more letters and then you'll get better. Isn't that nonsense? And it's exactly the same kind of nonsense totally conspiracy based. Exactly the same treatment as such professionals and non-professionals is deserved by those who say that if you do the right optimization, you can get your videos to the top. We on our channel with 20k subs competed with Marcus Brownlee and rose above him in search. Trust those who show everything in real practice. How do you make a clickable title and cover? How do you get to the nerve of your audience? How do you understand your audience's interest map? How do you understand what they like? You have to collect a complete list of channels, select references, sort the most popular videos with reference channel content. After a long time, you should analyze 100, 200, 300 videos in one niche, find similarities, find different features, and then make 20 or more hypotheses, then make a hypothesis out of 20 or more and test it by applying correct mechanics from another niche. And then you will systematically get clickable videos. I'm not saying that we shouldn't optimize videos at all. You can write your name in the text, but maybe someone will write my name as Arthur Weiner, and I would put a last name like that in the text. Or for example, Movavi Vlog, you could just write Movavi or Mavavi. That's what YouTube says you need tags for now. So the bottom line is we have one simple truth. One, search on YouTube is the weakest source of traffic. It sits on no more than 10% of YouTube, so there is no point in displaying the video at the top of YouTube. Second, optimization has no effect on this. But if you're wondering how to really promote your channels, how to really make your videos get a lot of views, watch other videos on this channel, don't listen to nonsense, don't mystify the platform and believe only real cases. Thank you for watching, guys and bye for now.